It was around 10 o'clock and everyone in the company had left except Jun Chan Cook and his manager. They were right now working on the file. It's done, Chan Cook. Let's go. He says, stretching his neck while he's back resting on the relaxing chair. Jungkook looked up at him and sighed. Fine, let's go. He said, closing the file in front of him. While they both were picking up their belongings, a male figure entered in. It was Jimin rubbing his tiny tummy while making a pout. No, it ain't gonna happen. I am already tired. I won't take you both my home. He said, backing up a little while shaking his head. No, cook, please. Aunt June makes really delicious food. I am already missing the of her magical hands. He said, and they both whined dramatically, looking at Jungkook. Yeah, Bunny, I am also missing the delicious food she makes. It seems that she holds some magic. He said, his eyes blinking. They both were trying their best to convince Jungkook. As they didn't go back to their boring apartment, instead they wanted to go with Jungkook to see his mother who is jolly and as lively less in their boring life. Jungkook sighed heavily and nodded his head as he knew really well that they both won't leave. After some time, the three trying bodies entered the mansion, all exhausted. Mrs. June came out of the kitchen while wiping her hands. She secured Sing Jimin and Taeyong. While Jungkook was sitting on the sofa looking at his mom angrily, his one eyebrow was raised. Why don't you adopt both of them? He asked, making all of them chuckle, or Bun is getting hell. He said, winking at his mom, who winked at him back. Well, idea is not that bad. I should adopt my handsome and sweet sons. At least they are not like icy cold son Jungkook, whose nose is flaring all the time and his eyes are digged into a laptop screen, as if this machinery is everything. She said, making Jimin and Taeyong laughed out loudly. Mom, he went like a small baby. Oh, Mom, my little baby got sad. Someone please grab some files and could help him to form some smile on his lips. She said, messing Jungkook's hair. Meanwhile, Jungkook's dad came from his room. Stop teasing my son. You all tease him so much. That's why he doesn't talk to you and make himself busy in a work. He said, making himself relax beside Jungkook. Soon a smirk crept on Jungkook's sleep, seeing his father taking his side as usual. You spent your whole work home and now your son is following your path. You both son and dad are all totally she said making Jimin and Tyin laugh again. Well auntie, did Jungkook tell you about someone? As he glared at Jimin. Mom, he will just ramble on or oh, you know he is a big liar. He said trying to distract his mom from that topic. But Hyung, aren't you the one who still glances at your second? Leave I and he said. He likes someone that's not fair, Cook. Why you never let us meet that girl, Leave I Ah, oh, her name is so beautiful, she said, putting her both hands on her mouth due to overexcitement. Mom, they are just lying, don't trust them. You know, they both tried to pull my leg, he said in a reassuring tone, but his mom didn't seem affected by his statement. Hey, stop teasing my son. You go and freshen up, he said, patting his shoulders. Jungkook nodded and glaring and Taeyong and Jimin, he went to the upstairs to get freshen up. On the other hand, the dim glow of the TV was flickered across the cozy and warm living room as you sank deeper into your couch wrapped in a soft blanket. You had been looking forward to watch this movie all week after working in June company till late nights. As the movie reached its pivotal scene, your mobile phone buzzed, which was placed on the coffee table, took a deep sigh past the movie and glanced at the caller ID. The name Mr. J Jungkook flashed across the screen, sending a flutter of nervous through you. Why Mr. Jungkook is calling me at 1 o'clock at night? You thought in your mind before answering the call. Hello Jungkook. I am sorry Miss Vyan for disturbing you this late but there is something important you need to take care of. He said, of course Mr. Jungkook, what do you need? You asked. I need you to come to my home. Actually there is an important 
file here that I forgot to send to Mr. Kang and it needs to be delivered past me in the morning. He said his deep voice slightly polite now. He looked at the wall clock before saying something. Actually, sir, it's too late, but as it's important and your, as you mentioned, is not far away from your mind, so I will come. But it will take me 15 minutes, you said. Sure, Miss Vyan, by the way, thanks. You quickly got up from the sofa, turned off the TV and went to the stairs to your room. You quickly changed into something more presentable. Happy mom. I have called her. Now you can see her. But trust me, there is nothing going. Miss Vyan always did me as her boss. Nothing else. He said trying to make his mother understand. Oh, just keep your mom now. You like her, right? That's when wrong to tell her about your feelings. If you won't tell her, how would she, you know if she know or not? She said and poked his nose, making him frown. I have already told you, mom, that she's not like other girls. Vyan is different. She keeps her personal life away from her working life and she never showed me some sign that she likes me. He said, letting out a sigh, some girls don't show their emotions so easily. They hide their feelings inside their heart until they get 100% sure. She said, caressing his hair, he nodded, biking up out. Meanwhile, finally, you reach his mansion as you stop the car in front of the main entrance door. You honk the horn, feeling a twinge of nervousness. You parked the car in a parking lot and walked up to the front door. Soon a door opened, revealing your boss, Jungkook, who smiled at you. Your eyes sparkled, seeing him in a black shirt. With his messy hair, he was looking handsome that you felt yourself so. Jungkook was everything anyone could expect as a CEO to be. Confident, charismatic, handsome, and always impeccably dressed. But there was something more about him than that made your pulse quicken every time you see him. He was surely beyond handsome. You smiled at him and handled him a file. Thank you, Miss Vyan, for bringing this over. I'm sorry, it's after hours and I disturbed you. He said his cold voice was no smooth and gentle. No problem, Mr. Jungkook, it's my duty. You said grinding at him. Well, I would be glad if you come inside. He said his nose and ears were getting I am actually it's too late. You must be tired. Maybe next time, you said looking at him. You were about to make your polite exit when another was called your name from inside. It was Jungkook's mom as she ran outside. Isn't she Lee Vyan? She said enthusiastically, her eyes sparkling. You looked at her and smiled as you had met Mrs. June before. Nice to see you, Mrs. June, you said. Oh, darling, you must stay for dinner. She smiled wildly at you. I'm, I'm sorry, Mrs. June, but I gotta go now. It's too late, you said, forcing a smile. No, I won't let you go like this. She said in a firm tone, Mom, what are you doing? He whispered in her ear. Don't say, let me deal with her. She whispered while glaring at him, Mrs. June, actually you were trying to speak out, but she cut you off. I'm not saying any excuse, you are a part of our family, dear, she said with a toothy grin. While Jungkook literally gulped down, your eyes widened in a shock as you looked at both of them in a disbelief family. You said to make sure that you hear something wrong. Ah, mommy so jolly. Whoever comes in our house, mommy calls them family. Isn't it funny? He said laughing loudly. You nodded your head looking at him. Let's head inside, dear. It's getting cold outside, sweetie. She looped your arm, leaning you to the inside while Jungkook following you from behind. As you all approached the warm dining room, Mrs. Jin gestured Jungkook to drag a chair for you behind, which was noticed by you. Jungkook leaned, but you already dragged the chair for yourself. It's okay, Mr. Jungkook, I can help myself, you said, making him smile nervously. He sat down gingerly, trying to nod off, fluttering in your stomach. Jungkook took a seat beside you, and you smiled, looking at him, which made him feel little relaxed. Thank you, Mr. June, for inviting me. You said politely, looking at him, Ah, uh, stop calling you Mrs. June. You can call me Aunt June, she said warmly smiling. Soon the food was served by the maid as you all had the mouth watering food. After some time, you all were done with the food. You came here for literally a short period of time. Next time, you will have to spend whole day here, okay? She said. 
You nod with a smile and bring down at Jungkook. You were about to walk further when Jungkook called you from behind. Miss Wayne, it's 2 a.m. Let me drop you home. He said looking at you. No, no, Mr. Jungkook. I will go myself. You don't need to worry. You said smiling a little at him. Jungkook is right, dear. It's too late. Jungkook called you to come here. Now it's his responsibility to drop you home. She said you nodded shyly and they left her service with Jungkook. After driving for 15 minutes, you reached the house as Jungkook opened the car door, making you feel little shy as you didn't want him to get bothered for you. Thank you, you said, going down at him. No problem, by the way, thanks to you for bringing the file at my place. He said and you smiled, I will leave now. You said your cheeks were heating up and you didn't want him to see your blushing face. Miss Yen, he said, making you stop on your feet. You turned around and looked at him frowning. No, nothing. He said, smiling at you. Then goodbye. You said and he smiled a little and then plopped inside his car and didn't go until you reached inside the house. Time skip. Vyan spoke. I reached my room and went to the bathroom for taking a shower. After taking a relaxing shower, I came back into my room and found myself on the bed. I was feeling overwhelmed and nervous at the same time. I know Mr. Jungkook since 6 months as I work in his company as his personal secretary but from past few days he is behaving good. Mr. Jungkook never talked to someone nicely or politely but I noticed a lot of changes in his behavior. Now he talks politely more often and also he smiles which is contrary to his nature. Since I joined the company I never saw him smiling at anyone but what happened to him all of a sudden. Why he is behaving so different I noticed Mr. Jungkook. I know he doesn't do intentionally, he does that whenever I smile or when I so does it mean he likes me? No, Mayan, come out of your dreamy world, how would he like you? I messed up my hair and dig my head in a pillow while whining. Time skip at office, I was working in my cabin while glancing at the stack of files which I will have to check to find out some errors. I was messing up my hair while submitting some important reports. Well, I have personal cabin hair as Mr. Jungkook's personal secretary. I have some privileges. While I was so engrossed in my work, I heard a knock on the door before I could say the person to come in. A manly figure entered in. I looked up and smiled. It was Chaseng looking at me while smiling was plastered on his face. Seng is my colleague as well as my friend but nowadays he is behaving good. I, I wonder how he manages to do his work I am never able to do when I am giving all my time to it. Hey Vyan, let's go somewhere for lunch. You can do this tiring work after filling your tummy. Vyani, please don't say no. He said in a pleading voice, I'm sorry saying but I have a lot of work to finish. I replied, No Mayan, I'm not gonna hear any excuse. Get up right now. He said whining. Okay, okay, fine, but let me first handle this file to Mr. Jungkook. I said closing my laptop. Okay, but come soon. He said and I nodded. Walking briskly to Mr. Jungkook's cabin, I knocked at the door and he let me come inside. I looked at him. Oh my, why he is so handsome. Sir, here is the file you asked for. You can check to find out some errors. I said looking down at the floor. Mr. Jungkook looked up at me with his dark deep eyes and smiled at me. I bowed down and was about to leave when Mr. Jungkook called for me. Miss Shin, are you free? He asked and scrunched my eyebrows looking at him. Actually, I want you to have lunch with me. He said I gulped down. I couldn't believe my ears. Uh, why in mind did he just ask me for a lunch? I wish my heart beat, but I have already said yes to sign. Miss Vyan, any problem? He asked, looking at my face. Um, can you wait for some time? I saw. He asked, confused. Actually, saying waited to have lunch with me, and I agreed. I chuckled. I noticed his soft facial expression was now transformed into a serious one, which made me gulp. I really hit my goldfish memory. Why he wants to have lunch with you? He asked. His eyes were cold. He is my friend. He asked me and I agreed. I smiled at him weirdly. Your friend? Okay, then call him Miss Levian. 
He said, listening my name, which made my face flustered. Thank you, sir. Just give me a minute. I stand and left outside to call Chasang. I thought to have a perfect lunch with Vyan, but then out of nowhere, her uh, friend came where she could go to have lunch with him, and she said that he is her friend. I don't know why the person actually is. Vyan is innocent. I don't know, but right now I'm extremely feeling the out of his new arrival. Arthur's probe, you came back with a sang as Jungkook looked at him and felt a pang in her stomach while you were looking at both of them while blinking eyes. Time skip. Reaching the restaurant, you three took your seats. Jungkook was sitting next to you. The Chasang wanted to sit beside you, but Jungkook jumped on the chair beside you before he could sit. Jungkook ordered the food and you all were waiting when Chasang spoke out. Vyan, you are looking beautiful today in open hair. He said, smiling at you, catching Jungkook's glare. Most of the time I stay in open hair. You replied, confused. Jungkook smirked internally. Miss Vyan, this bracelet looks so beautiful in your hand. He said, looking at the bracelet which you had in your hand. But, uh, but Mr. Jungkook always carried it with me, you said, and Chasang let out a chuckle, making you frown. This is chuckling, he thought in his mind while glaring at Chasang. Soon the food came as you all had it and then he left for the office. Time skip, you were done with the piles of files that Chanku asked you to check, so you were heading to his cabin. After keenly checking the files, you entered inside after hearing a come in. You went towards his desk and placing the file on it, you looked at his face, which made the butterflies flutter in your stomach. Jungkook looked up through his laptop and quickly fixed his tie. Miss Vyan, is everything okay why you came? He asked his face was filled up. Yes, sir, everything is fine. I have checked those files so I came to give you. You smiled at him. Oh, okay, you may leave, he said, trying to maintain his cold composure. You bowed down at him and took a step forward to go out when he called you from behind. Miss Vyan, I wanna talk to you about something. He got up from his chair and walked towards you, making your heart beat raise intensively faster. I know it's all of a sudden, but I can't keep this to my heart because I can't see anyone. He was trying to complete his sentence, but you cut him off. It's okay, Mr. Jungkook. After 15 minutes, his mobile phone rang. You quickly wiped our hand outside while your cheeks turned into tomato. Jungkook looked at you from behind and chuckled. Cute. He said to himself, smiling. Time skip. You were in the reception area talking to some of your colleagues when Daisy spoke out. Hey, Vyan, don't you think Mr. Jungkook gives you a lot of work to do? Isn't he an icy cold boss? She said and everybody laughed. No, it's not so. He is cold, but not that much. You said smiling. Hey, why are you taking his side? She said. Yeah, he does like you stood in a manly style by throwing your eyebrows. He others like me. Can you please bring me a cup of coffee and listen? It must be according to my taste. And yeah, hand me those files first with that red paper. Oh, did you send an email to Mr. Koyong? Oh, how you could forget to send a PDF of blue survey file? Oh, okay. First, get me a cup of coffee. You made him while making weird face, trying to look like him. You looked at your colleagues while laughing, but they got startled. The Jungkook was standing behind you. You frowned and looked behind you. Your old scar widened and jaw dropped. Before he could come closer and say something, you ran away from there, making him more pissed off. We were walking through the lobby when suddenly someone Lee Vyan really enjoys to mimic her boss. He asked, putting his hand wall.
I hope you won't mimic me anymore. He starts smiling at you. Ah, sir, I am sorry, you said. It's okay, Miss Fayan. He said, smiling at you.